All right, guys, quick stream right here. We're going to go over the NFL movers and, of course, the golden ticket items uh, from recently. So first things first, let's kick it off. Malik Jackson's the first guy on the list, and he is going to get a pass from us. You love 98 power move, but at the right end position, you can get much greater value with strength and block shed that you've got to pass on a player like this. There's no value in his acceleration. I think if he's a DT, you're still going to get much more strength and block shed. So I think this Malik Jackson's very, very solid across the board. He might be a player we come back and explore later, but unless you're a budget team, this Malik Jackson isn't going to hold up, I don't think. I think you can get better run-stuffing players mixed with more 98 power move. You can find that at OLB and Ryan Kerrigan's Iraq pose. You can find it in linebackers. There is more places to get it. Um, next up is Alex Boone. You see 97 strength, 97 pass block with 90 run block. Super, super slow. This guy's a pure pass blocker. He's six foot eight. I didn't remember him being that big, but um, pretty solid, pretty good budget um, item potentially. Let's see how much he's going for and we'll kind of set a price. He's only at uh, 45K so far, which is pretty low to start out. So if you are a budget guy and you're in the 90s, this guy could be pretty legitimate for you at that right guard position. Um, let's see what the chat thinks. And we'll see um, who else might be available. Tyvon Branch here, 93 strong safety. 94 speed, but guys, with 83 zone coverage, you can't put him in your lineup. If you played two man under, you like the speed and excel. That's one of the fastest in the game. Tyvon Branch has been a Raider sleeper since Madden 11 for us. With this low pl play rec, though, he can't play in the lineup. There's too many other good strong safeties out at this position right now. Um, I don't know, uh, unless you have 90 speed and 90 zone, you can't play on my squad at this time. 90 play rec, 90 speed, 90 zone. I think you can find it, especially at free safety, and move a guy over to strong safety. He doesn't have the hit power. I like the 81 man. I like the 81 man. I think that balance could be useful. Um, but overall, I'd probably go with the ward, I think. There's a Schefter's ward who has higher man. There's a Ron Parker might have higher man. I think that's where we'd look to. Now, Travis Benjamin's an interesting case. His football outsiders that came out in Ultimate Team at the beginning of the year was pretty good for the time with the speed. Um, this one gets up to 95 route running, which you know I like to see 96, but I think he's right on the cusp. No release, so you're going to put him on drags. 96 at this point in the season is what it would have been two months ago. I think 98 for this item would have been what really made it, but... 97-92 is an okay balance. He's never really going to be a one-on-one -on -one downfield catcher in the first place. So if you use this guy for drags, then you don't really need the route running. So I will pass on this Benjamin, but if you need some cheap speed, he is available. I still think Campus Hero Kevin White is a better overall value than Benjamin. Shea McClellan. Look, here's what McClellan can do for your team. I don't like him because he has low block shed. Low zone coverage at middle linebacker. He's not super fast. 88's fast. 90's about average at this point, and 92 is fast. And Shazier is godly with, 90, with whatever he has. Um, but this guy has extremely good power move, finesse move. So he's a pass rushing middle linebacker. Super rare, and the balance you're not going to find really. So if you say run like nickel double A gap, I think this McClellan could be pretty legit uh, for those who like to run, which nobody likes to run, but the double A gap thing, nickel, nickel, two, four, five, double A gap. I thought it was going to be a much more popular formation than it turned out to be. But this guy has a pass rusher up in the face that gets a power move, war finesse, rush move, and he's super, super cheap. He's a very specific type of player, so it's cool that. A player like him doesn't exist. I bet if I searched middle linebacker, power move, finesse move, no one in his cost range would have those type of rush moves. Maybe a Clay Matthews, but you know he's going to cost more. So I do like McClellan for what he could be if you if you had the right team. I'm not going to use him though. Real quick, we have the positional heroes. So Tom Brady, I tweeted about this. I mean, this guy is amazing across the board, but 70 speed. 
you know, it's not going to get it done for you if you're like, if you're going for an all-out best item in the game. Could be the Camp Newton right now. Could be the Michael Vick still. It's definitely not the Johnny Manziel Golden Ticket. Too many overthrows. Um, the, the traits on the Brady, does he have the clutch trait? And does he have... He does have the clutch trait, and he does... He has ideal sense pressure. So this guy's perfect. It's just the speed's a little low for your liking. Um, but even 70's not the worst thing to ever happen. He's going to make throws. I mean, he's going to make every throw across the board. The 96 made every throw for us. It's up to you. I, you know, the price, he's got to come down, though. You can't even, get, can't even sniff 800K. It's got to be a 200K max player. Shazier with 96 speed at middle linebacker. Got to be the fastest in the game at that position. 98 hit power. He's got a big hitter trade. He's got great zone coverage. He's got really, really strong. You figure they'd make this guy a little weaker. But, man, he's super, super strong. 90 play Rex, the threshold I like. And I think this guy's going to stop the run and be legit. Shout out to haters keep hating, saying that Lawrence Timmons has the same rushing capabilities, um, which is nice. Something you don't want to uh, miss out on. Um, now, Campus Heroes is something we skipped over. But you see this little Michael James right here? This is the rich. This is the medium-priced Potential rich man's um, DeAnthony Thomas. DeAnthony Thomas, third down back. Good route running on this LaMichael James. Super fast, super agile. Uh, carries pretty good. I think you, once he drops to 100K, 80K, is he better than the Marshall Falk base? Yes, because he's much faster. Um, but if you didn't want to go after the Charles... As a third down back, this is your guy. This is Michael James. And it's a cool item. Leon Hall at CB is going to get a pass from me at this moment in time just because I'm a man coverage guy. And I think you know, you can, you can get better zone deals out there. I'm not going to pay extra for that press for this Leon Hall. Marquise Lee. Kind of similar to the Travis Benjamin. I think the Benjamin's better. Wow. Yeah, I'd say go Travis Benjamin. Depended on the price. Hodges has 99 tackle, 80 strength, 87 block shed. He's pretty balanced across the board. Um, good pursuit, good tackle, good play rec. Maybe he's, if he, if he is a run stuffer, you can't play him because he's not strong enough to set the edge. But maybe at chasing people down with 87 zone coverage, you might be able to drop this guy into some to some zone coverages and look pretty good for 18k. Um, this is a guy I would keep on my radar for um, salary cap, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, Will Sutton, 95 strength, 95 power move. That's pretty ferocious. 96 block shed. So I think uh, at DT, that's. Rock solid if he's under 10K. Let's see what he's at. Yeah, he's approaching that. So once this guy gets under 10K, if you really need some run stuff, there's so many good run stuff guys out there. And the last the last guy on the last, like, four promos has just been a beast run stuffing guy. There's been some left end, some DTs, plenty of dudes you can find uh, whoever you like out there and see what you like.